Hi, and this is the Beauty Goddess Bridget channel. My name is Bridget, and uh, I like all things very loud and bodacious and, and colorful here. And ooh, I've had to have a slight change of plans. We are going to still do the question and answer, and I'm going to do a makeup look. So we'll still do that. I just won't be able to do all the giveaways because I wanted the giveaways for both peoples to interact both both you know what I'm saying <laughs> both crowds both my Facebook crowd and my YouTube crowd and well YouTube messed me up on that <laughs> okay so we are gonna start with uh, today's palette is the F off palette it's one that I came across and I thought I hadn't used that one no, I have not. You can tell by looking at it. It is brand new. It's still brand new. So, uh, yeah, we're going to use this one. We're going to we're going to pop it right here right now. Just saying. So, how are y'all today, Jane and Sherry? Y'all doing y'all doing uh, wonderful, magnificent, crazy, whatever. Uh, asking for a friend, you know. As soon as Jay gets here, we'll go ahead and do the question. We'll get started on question and answer, even if I'm still doing my makeup. This palette is really pretty. Some of the colors are really, really nice. And then some of them are, well, a little less. I feel bad about this. I feel really, really bad. I'm not going to be able to do my live on uh, on YouTube. What the heck? I mean, that was the whole the whole purpose of the whole thing. I go to go live and it tells me, oh, it takes two days or something to set up so that you can go live. What? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this before? So uh, yeah, I, I, I was unable to go live. Okay, so um, where are we going to start here with this one? Yeah, well, you have to like go through their training thing, I guess, to get approved for it. So, yeah, whatever. No, YouTube. Okay, let's see. We've got some really good colors here. Um, I think I am going to take this deep purple here first. Kind of a fluffy brush with that. And be sure to say hello when you get here so that I know who you are, know that you're here, you know, all that. I'm going to miss BH Cosmetics. I really am. This is one of their palettes that they had. And I really, I do like it. A lot. Oh, somebody's trying to call me. Hold on. They're just going to have to, uh, I'll just have to call them back tomorrow. Because it's a business and I think they're calling me about the the CPAP machine. So, I wanted to come and make sure it's still working or whatever. I haven't even used it forever. But I know that's what it is. It's that company. So, I may see if I can just take it over there to their office. For them to do any testing on it there. That thing's heavy though. Ooh, it's heavy. Color? Oh my gosh, that is such a pretty color. I like that. And that is, uh, it's called Beat It. I really like that color. I don't like my little tiger stripes that I'm getting over here. In the, uh, yeah, that's me voicemail. I know, I know. 
I did not have time today. I did manage to get my prizes for my drawings and everything together. Now I'm not even going to be able to use all of them. I'm going to go ahead and give away at least one anyway. I'll go ahead and give away at least one, maybe two. And then save the other one for the YouTube people. Give everybody kind of a chance to, to get in on it, I guess, so to speak. I feel bad about that. I was really looking forward to this. My friend in uh, in uh, Kansas, her name is Debbie Deb with her channel is Debuton. She was going to come and have people come hang out with me and and encourage people to come sit on my channel on my live. I just had to send her a message and say, "Yeah, they told me I couldn't go live yet." <laughs> so yeah, kind of is what it is. Okay. I think this one probably is going to need a less tacky feeling, like a drier feeling. Instead of using actual primer, maybe uh, a concealer or something a little less wet. I really do like this color. I just I don't like that it's kind of uh, giving me tiger stripe, tiger stripes in my tiger stripe lines in my makeup. It's almost like patchiness. I don't like that, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, and then on this inside, I think I am going to go. The very inner section here. I think I'm going to go with this green, the shimmery green here. And then in the middle, I'll do this blue right here. So, first the green. Oh, that's a pretty green. Really pretty green. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a really good green color. That's one of the best greens I think they put out. And it is an olive green. And that's the color it came out. Awesome. <laughs> Anyone else? Oh, man, I see Jane and Sherry was here. Anybody else here? really disappointed that I couldn't go live on YouTube right away. Oh well. That just gives me something to look forward to when I get my 100. I've got 50, 55 I think subscribers now. And I said I'd have my first giveaway at 50 so here we are. 55. I'm doing my giveaway. At least a little bit of a giveaway. It may not be too much of a giveaway, but it'd be a little bit of a giveaway. Oh, I like that. That is so pretty. Okay. I'm going to flip this over, use the same kind of packing brush here, and go into that blue that's called Bitch Please. Um, I'm going to put this. Between the two. Oh, yeah. I like that. What do you guys think? The three colors. Do they nice? Do they nice? I like that. I wonder if Lyric made it on. She was saying that she would ho was hoping that she would make it on. To watch. I don't know if we don't get any more people than just one or two people on here. We may not have a giveaway at all. We may just just give you guys a number and you know we'll just go from there. But I'm still going to do the rest of it, like like uh, 
hasta la web. I like that color. I really like that color combination. Okay. And then for the top up here, um, I think I will go with this red. I have not ordered it yet. Go with this one. Why? Yeah, I'm going to order the new Nomad palette because it's awesome. Hey, Lyric! You're not late. Well, I mean, you're a little bit late because I did get started, but I mean, I'm not very far in my into my deal, so it's okay. Uh, I'm trying, I'm hoping that more people will come on so that I can do a decent drawing. If not, well, I just, I'll, I'll do one drawing and then maybe two drawings and then do the other drawings when I can finally go live. You gotta, it takes 24 hours to get certified to go live. I was totally, totally unaware of that. So. Oh, this is pretty. That's a nice color. Oh, Lyric, uh, when Christina was in on my live, the last the last one that I did, she said that one of the tips and tricks that I gave her, aren't they beautiful? Uh, one of the tips and tricks that I gave her for hooded eyes worked really well. Do you know what which, uh, which tip and trick she was actually talking about that she used that she liked the most? Do you happen to know? If you don't, that's okay. No, I'm feeling like a bit of a peacock today with all these colors. I'm going to have to go in and adjust that just a little bit because that, that kind of mulberry wine-ish looking one here, which is called Bite Me, is a little bit darker than I thought it would be. It's not blending as well as I hoped. So, I'm going to take and just things just a little bit but anyway do you know what which which one of the tips and I gave her for that I am assuming that it's the one about going up and using uh, going higher up on the lid you know it, it's okay to go up to your eyebrows as long as it's like not one solid color <laughs> uh, well and you've got the you got a pretty good little house full going right now so yeah I can see that oh that blue is just really awesome I'll use to use the blue or the green or the purple underneath. I think I'll put the purple on the biggest amount here. I'm just going to assume that that's what it was, was that it was the, uh, you know, to use the full palette, the full canvas of your eyelid. Because with, with those of us that have hooded eyes, when our eyes are open, you really can't see anything on the bottom lid. Yeah, I mean, you can't. So you need to kind of go up just a little bit higher. And I have an idea that's what she's, that's what she's talking about, is that.
I was if I was just a certain woman, that would be my that's where I would place my bets. It's all about blending and shading and ombre so that you don't come out looking like Mimi on the Drew Carey show. And for those who may not know Mimi from the Drew Carey show, uh, yeah, she looked like something straight out of the 60s. <laughs> yeah, because that's how we wore it back in the 60s. That's how we wore the makeup way back then. 60s and early 70s. And, uh, hi, Heather. Heather Duffy's here. Uh, I'm going to get see if I can get fancy with the silver. <laughs> yeah, let's we'll see about this. So, has anybody got any questions for me and Jay? Ready to hand over, or am I just going to be going off of uh, what I already, what I already got, the ones that I got? I have a lot of good questions, mostly from Danielle in the UK. She's not, she's not even going to be able to see me right now until I can go live on YouTube, and I'll try to pick an hour that's a little bit more uh, beneficial for them, <laughs> so to speak. I won't have a giveaway for that crowd in particular, because the shipping would cost me too much, way too much. Okay, so what do we think so far? Looking good? It's a little thicker here than I had anticipated. this. This is a kind of a neat, neat color combination. It's very, uh, very different, very unique, very much me. Just a little bit more of a green over here. Nice. And then I'm going to take the blue on top of the purple. Think these are some pretty uh, color combinations. I know there. I've got some people that can't ever respond in the comments. They have to buzz me in PM, but I don't see anybody anybody commenting there yet either. So. Okay, and that is the fuck off palette. And I said that kind of fast, you know. <laughs> you guys can read it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now to get on with uh, the rest of my gorgeous look here. <laughs> I debated on putting glitter on. So what do you think you need? How can I help you, Lyric? How can I help you? Because I mean, the main thing is that it's meant to be fun. It's not meant to stress you out. If you don't like it, you can always take it off. So, I mean, there's that. So if you if I know more about what it is that you need, 
from from what you're wanting to learn how to do, then I can help you with that. But I have to know. <laughs> I'm not very good at mind reading these days. Let me check on Instagram right quick. Oh, okay. That was just Debbie Tong responding back. She's such a sweetie. She really is a sweetheart. Absolutely love her. Okay. I see. I see. You're just not comfortable with working with it because you haven't. See, unlike my mother, who was a beautician, cosmetologist, so she practiced on us a lot. <laughs> I mean, she didn't ever sit us out in public when she was practicing on us because she was doing these adult looks on her daughters. But uh, she she practiced on us, and so we got kind of accustomed to uh, makeup very early on. Um, I guess is the best way to put it. And she knew how to how to apply it. So when we started doing our own makeup, you know, she could help us. But yeah, I I do understand and I feel for you. Yeah, my mom loved it. She she stayed a uh, stylist for years. I mean, uh, she went she went to, she got her certification like in '69 or '70. I was like nine or ten years old at the time, and she kept her license up to date and worked uh, as a stylist off and on up into the '80s because uh, when Nicholas was born. In 1980, she was still working in a in a salon. So, yeah, she uh, she did it for a long time. She, I think she liked making everybody look beautiful. I think what she didn't like about it was that so many women. I mean, it's like she was an underpaid psychiatrist or something. So, and I think that's the part that she didn't like. If that makes any kind of sense. I mean, she she enjoyed doing the hair. I don't think that was ever really a problem. And she liked wearing makeup. But I think she just got to the point of being you know, a sounding board for everybody, and yet, who could she talk to, you know? She was a sounding board for everybody and didn't have one for herself. That kind of thing. And I think it just got old to her. Yeah, I don't like this brush. I don't like this brush. It's too stiff. So, and we can, we need to set up a time and a place, and you and I work one on one a little bit or something. See what I can't get done for you. See if I can't get you helped out. So that you can feel more confident about your styles and techniques and what have you. If that makes sense. I mean, I know not everybody had the, had the, the mom that I had. Not everybody had, you know, uh, the opportunity to play with makeup at a young age like I did, but only because my mom, you know, did that. I mean, seriously, that's the only reason why. Um, you know, a lot of times, Lyric, and I don't mean this to be like a uh, like condescending or patronizing or anything to anyone. But a lot of times, you know, people, they'll, they'll get on YouTube and they'll find somebody that they like the looks that this person created. And that's fine. You know, I've, I've, I've gone on YouTube and found a couple of, of uh, 
YouTubers that I like to watch and, and you know, I've learned some great more modern uh, tips and tricks on how things can look. So, and I, I absolutely do not have a problem with anybody doing that. But you have to keep in mind that how I apply my makeup, unless you've got a face that looks a lot like mine, you can follow my steps exactly, perfectly, and you're not going to achieve the same look because your face is different. Your eyeballs are different. Your eyelids are different. Everything is different. And so what you think it doesn't look right doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't. It just means that maybe this look is not good for your particular face shape or for your particular eyes or for your, you know, a lot of times uh, women just, they, they see a look that they like and they try to recreate it and they get mad because they can't. It's just like, for me, winged, the wing look on liner, to save my life, I cannot get a really nice wing with eyeliner. I can do it just fine with the eyeshadows, but I can't do it with the eyeliner. Now, uh, no explanation for it, it's just the way it is. But one thing that I've found is that women that have hooded eyes, like I do, that are very hooded, uh, they can't achieve that wing look like others can. Because when we open our eyes, the only thing you see <laughs> is from here to here, and it looks like instead of a wing, it starts looking like goalposts, like like it it moves how they how they look. So, you know, we all have our our crosses bearing our struggles here with makeup. Uh, the trick is to find what works for you and your face and your colors and your oh, however you want. You know what I'm saying? So just dig it out and play. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You don't like it? Well, that's okay, too. You know, wash it off and try it again. I'm losing my lashes here. And it does not want to stick. Okay, we have to. Okay, first of all, don't worry about how pale you are. Everybody uses bronzers in the summer, and and you know we can fix paleness. Yeah, we can fix it, or at least give you the illusion a little bit more. And you are thin enough that you probably won't want to make your face look thinner so you're just worried about overall maybe um, accentuating cheekbones things like that the worst problem with pale real real pale skin isn't uh, the colors of what's gonna look good Finding foundation that looks good. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. Just like me with my olive undertones, yeah, I have a good time trying to find a really, really good foundation. And I have come to the conclusion that no matter how my foundation looks, I'm just going to have to use bronzer if it if it's kind of pasty looking. Uh, to kind of darken it up a little bit, you use use lighteners, highlighters to lighten it up if it's too dark. You know, I'm just gonna have to figure a way around it, or make my own from scratch. Yeah, that's not gonna happen either. So, just saying. Okay, I did pretty good. Taste should be falling through reasonably soon, so we can get on those questions. Yay! What time do you have to leave, Lyric? Your classes at seven, I think. No 
Okay. Not too much of a disaster, I don't think. Minor disaster. Not too much of a disaster, though. Right? All right. And then we're going to use the, uh, it's called Ruby from Juvia's Place. Ruby liner. But, yeah, we can bring me whatever tools you've got and whatever makeup you want to want to use. We'll get you going. You can do a foundation match down at Ulta. They they can help you find a a uh, foundation that will work for you. Well, you might win one of my giveaways tonight. So, and there's a each of the bags that I put aside have a palette, an eyeshadow palette. They all have uh, Jamberry nail strips in them. They all have some jewelry. I'm going to add some other stuff to them, by the way, but they've all got that. So, But Ulta, they have, you can actually ask them to, to help you color match and, and find something that you will like. I mean, could I, could I do it with Unique? Yeah, I probably could, but um, I don't have enough samples to have on hand to be able to do it for sure. I know that you're lighter than I am, but there's 15 shades lighter than me. And there's 40 shades darker. There we go. And so, now what do you think? And I did it all without my freaking earrings on. Or my crown. But I do have a headband on, so putting an extra, uh, a regular other headband on probably wouldn't be so, so, uh, great. <laughs> Just saying. You like it? I wasn't sure if I would like this one too much but now now that I've used it I'm glad that I did because it's good colors so I'm happy with it I'm very happy with it oh did I tell you guys I don't know if I have have I told you guys that uh, I got approved for the uh, medical marijuana card and that has been life-changing for me Okay. Oh. See a little bit. But uh, the best thing I ever did. Uh, it, now, I am still in my adjustment period of how much do I need to take? Uh, the first day, yeah, that didn't go very good. <laughs> like, whoa, that's way too much. All right. So <laughs> the next day, I broke it down to quarters. And that seemed mostly okay. But I've also done halves, so. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I got kind of a 40s look with a little clips up there. Kind of. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, so, I, and I'm not unhappy with that route. I mean, I'm really not. And I had told my doctor that, you know, if he couldn't give me anything for pain, then I was going to be getting a card. And he was like, well, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, um, I kind of expected a fight, <laughs> but I didn't get one. He said, just be sure anytime you have surgery or whatever to tell people that you take it, you know, and 
so that they can adjust because they have to adjust if, if you if you use medical marijuana they're going to want to know you know what type because anesthesia kind of it can be very important if I was going to be having surgery and I knew I was going to be having surgery I wouldn't I wouldn't take that beforehand probably a couple of days but you know that's just me <laughs> All righty then. Woo! Now I look like a crazy woman. My hair is all everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just waiting on Jay. Here's some of the questions that we've got. Let me let me go through some of these questions. And uh, it was Danielle. Okay. She sent me a list of like 34 <laughs> and she sent me a few before that even. So, um, she sent me a, she sent me a lot. Uh, she said, what did you each wear on your first date and where did you meet for it? I can't even remember what I was wearing. <laughs> Who said, I love you first. Yeah. I don't remember. Honestly, I really don't. That's sad. But uh, there's some other some other things on here like who has the worst memory? Well, obviously that's me. <laughs> but I'll be I'll be getting into some of these questions. But that's the kinds of questions that she's uh, that she asks. Who's the fussiest eater? Who made the first move? Who hogs the covers? You know that kind of stuff. So those are some of the questions that I'll be answering in here. <coughs> you know, I thought they were really good questions actually. Do you like how I'm doing my eyebrows? For some reason, I, I'm i not sure I like my eyebrows. Do they look, I mean, I can't tell if they just look too thick to me or if they just, I don't know. They are kind of thick though. I mean, I don't, I've never plucked them so they didn't get too thin and never grow back. <coughs> All right. Got some powder or something. <coughs> We're gonna drink a little bit here. <coughs> Anybody have any questions just for me? Or we're waiting on Jay to get here? We shouldn't be too much longer. He gets off the five, he's gonna swing by and pay the rent. <coughs> which is literally on the way home. So Any of you guys have any questions? Those probably more people come on later. We'll have those. <sighs> I'm really upset about that. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, get some tags going here since it's about time for people to get off. <clears throat> what is Christina up to tonight? Does she work until like five or six? a lot of people. Oh, Lori. Ah. I see. I see. I see, I see. 
So you, you have to go at 6 or 6.30? Class is 7, yes? No. No. You want to come up here? Come on, come up here. Come on. Come on, girl. Miss Wigglebutt, come on. Come on. Come on, Miss Wigglebutt. Come on. Are you going to get up here or not? Come on. I'm trying to get her up here so you guys can see her. Come on. That's Lily. My Lily girl. Class starts at 6. Well, I hope Jake gets here pretty soon. Although you did at least get to see the makeup. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, she's such a mess. She's such a mess, my girls. Oh, please. Whatever. Quit sneezing on me. Quit snorting on me or whatever it is you're doing. Did you hear that? Where she, like, sneezed at me? <laughs> Hi, Bridget. Are you here? Miss Oceans, come on. Come here, Oceans. Come on. We call her Oceans 11. Miss Oceans 11. Because her crew would be Oceans 11. You know, she's smart. <laughs> and that would be her crew. And they'd never get caught. But they'd all be very, very good at what they do. Lily's crew would be Keystone Cops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I would start asking questions. I'll ask questions. I'll answer any questions that you guys have for me here. I'll go ahead and answer them. We'll get started. Answering them. My friend uh, Debbie Ton, she just went live on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to get over to that. Yeah. I do like this look. The more I look at it, the more I like it. <laughs> I'm terrible. No, I am. <laughs> you guys, just gonna have to get used to that. How terrible I can be. <laughs> oh, so, come on. Any questions? Come on, give me some questions, people. <laughs> Jane, are you still here? You asked me if I had ever used spray foundation. I actually have some spray foundation. I have not used it. This particular bottle of it. But I actually have some. Where did it go? There it is. Unique spray foundation. I have used this before. I decided not. I was I was going to use it today, but decided against it because once you start using this, you have to use it pretty much every day or it goes, it gets clogged up in the nozzle thing that sprays. So, there's that. Just saying. Well, I really was hoping he would be here by now. So, uh, something that, uh, hi, John! Okay, someone once asked me if I was left handed. I'm not left-handed, but I am ambidextrous. I can use both hands mostly fairly reasonably easily. Uh, some things some things that I do, I do left-handed, and some things I do, I do right-handed. Some I switch off. Like I tie my shoes left-handed. I eat mostly left-handed. Uh, but when it comes to writing, actually writing, it's right-handed. 
So I, I switch off and on between the two. So let's see. I'm trying to find questions that were geared more towards just me and not him. So let me get back up here through these through these questions up here. Like I said, most of these are kind of like uh, uh, you know, like for both of us to talk to, like who stays up the latest, it would be like both of us. But uh, who stays up the latest? Me. <laughs> most days. Now sometimes, sometimes I have been known. Oh, here he is. Yay! Just in time, because I was getting desperate for something to talk about, because, you know, this is like talking to myself. You can pull up the chair. Yay! Okay. All right, take this out just a little bit. There we go. Are you going to bring your chair over? I know they don't like the broom. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, make her run as soon as he pulls out his phone. She runs. Yeah, she does. She. I think she thinks that we're gonna steal her soul or something, huh? I don't know. Yeah, because I always go to heaven. Now. It's official Catholic policy. Well, pull up a stool and we'll go ahead and get started. Cause they're waiting. They be waiting. I wasn't able to go live on YouTube. Oh, you, no. YouTube has a 24-hour waiting period after you sign up to do it, and I didn't realize that, so, uh, yeah. Wow. And so, there's that. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. I scooted over so he could come in and join, join me and sit next to me. Yeah. And what's he doing? He's in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know if he went in there to get something to drink or oh wash his hands and because he's he's been working hard all day with gasoline and other chemicals <laughs> since he fixes lawnmowers now mostly pull up a chair oh you're shy baloney Anybody believe that out here in, in Facebook land? Anybody in, in YouTube land when you're seeing this, do you believe that? <laughs> well, it's just a couple of people on right now on Facebook. So, there you go. I've got a list of like 35 questions. I'm boring. <laughs> well, I don't know what I want. <laughs> you got too much. You got too much I, I have a lot of stuff over there. Yeah, you got too much stuff in there. I can't even get in here. Even if I do, <laughs> I'm almost dead. I can't get him in here on, on this one. Yeah, because I'm almost dead. Let's see. Does that, does that work? <laughs> you can't turn your phone while you're live. Yeah, guess not. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a few questions that someone has sent me. I'll ask a few of the questions. We'll answer them. And then we'll stop. Uh, lyric, I'll try to stop early enough. So that you can get in on the giveaway. And actually, I was going to give the first person a choice, but since I've only got a couple of people, um, I've got this Juvia's Place palette that I'm going to be giving away. I think you see it up there. Hold on. 
Well, this one's going to go to the face, the, my Facebook people. This one is going to go to whoever wins today. So it's kind of a, a neutral palette. Well, you're not supposed to. You want some makeup to win? You want to win some makeup? Oh, Honey, well, would that make you feel better? I can look <laughs> so I'm going to give away that palette. I'll probably give away some brushes. I'll probably add some brushes to that. Uh, there's a bracelet in here. So yeah, there's a couple of things. So at any rate, uh, somebody's going to win that, that palette. But I will be adding some other stuff to it. Just saying. No. So, <laughs> all right. We'll ask a couple of questions, then we'll do the drawing, and then we'll get back to the questions. Uh, let's see if Jay remembers. What did you each wear on your first date? I wore pants. You wore pants? <laughs> and where did you meet for it? Here at the house. He made me a really nice home cooked meal. Yeah. Italian. So I knew I had pants on. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't cook with, with nothing on. Uh, trust me on that. Uh, <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> the second question, who said I love you first? Me, because I'm all eccentric and stuff like, uh, you know, all in my aunt and guys. <laughs> you said it first? Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, that's what he says. What is the most favorite thing about each other? <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> yeah. He said that he dated me for like three months before he even realized I had eyes. I'm not sure what those are. <laughs> Whatever. You're such a liar. No. I love his intelligence and sense of humor. Yep. Uh, he He's crazy fun to be with. So I feel like a little kid playing a sandbox a lot. What are you most likely to argue about? You know, we don't really argue <laughs> about anything. Do we? Yeah. What? About you being mean to me constantly? Yeah, Making okay. Making sleep on the dirty underwear and broken glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every night. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's what he says. What's the most favorite clothing or outfit that you like each other to wear? Keep it clean, Bridget. Ha ha ha. Like yeah, all like my friends Bridget. know. Yeah. <laughs> Jay can't answer it either. <clears throat> he actually dresses up really nice in a suit. No, he doesn't. He would never admit that, but he does. No, he, he dresses doesn't. up really, really nice. Only for court appearances. <laughs> Only for court appearances. Well, you know, whatever gets you there. What item of clothing do you hate the most on each other? Bras. <laughs> because they cover up what? The movies? <laughs> See? They're all related. That's how they get that's how the cops get you. They ask you the same question over and over. Uh -huh. and I answer the same question, so I'm good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just like my last conversation. He is a basic t shirt and jeans kind of guy, so I mean that I won't say that there's yeah, any on. clothing that I hate on him particularly. Yeah, you like um, that was your <laughs> He's got sexy butt, so I like him in his jeans. I do like his jeans, so I guess maybe his shirts. <laughs> 501 got too damn expensive. Yeah. They fall apart and they lower the insulin. Below. They always feel like it's falling yeah. off. Who's the messiest? That would be me. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> Who's the boss? Me. You're the boss? Yeah. Okay. It's about 50 50, but yeah, he's probably a little bit more. Yes. Yeah, so Who's the grumpiest? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always happy and sparkly sometimes. No, you're not. And, no, and no he's not. And glitter and shit. But at least when he's mad, I mean, it's all over him. You can see it. There's no mistaking that he's upset. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, who has the worst memory? <laughs> who is the party animal? No, that was me. <laughs> I'm the one that's the helicopter. <laughs> Jay. They're not talking about that kind of party. Oh. Well, I did. <laughs> and uh, who is the most romantic? Me. <laughs> That's him. Yeah. All and shit. <laughs> who has the best sense of humor? Mm. I don't know. We 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 both mm. have a good sense of humor, so mm. uh, that's part of what we really love about each other mm. is that. <laughs> he says him. He's funny. He is. 
At least he gets people to spew sometimes. <laughs> Poor Johnny. But not me. No. I got you. One, I got you that one time. There was Dr. Yeah. Pepper coming out your nose. There was not Dr. Pepper coming out my nose. Yeah, it was. It, no. It wasn't Coke, right? That, <laughs> good thing on that, right? Okay. I haven't seen any other questions come in, so I'm going to go ahead. But, but I think, Jane, I think you're the only one that's here. Oh, no. I didn't think. I, my, nobody asked my So opinion. is anybody here? Anybody besides Jane? Is John, are you still here even? I don't think your dad's here anymore. Oh, no. This was too early of a live. That's what I thought. Yeah. I raced home. Then I got to take a shower. Well, um, I was thinking in terms of I've got people, you know, all over the place. Oh, yeah. Coming off work. So, so I raced home, paid the rent, put oil in the car, worked. So, Jane, you are you the only one... Are you still here? Lyric, are you still here? My mom didn't do that. Uh -huh. She's up. I think Jane's the only one that's still here. Oh, no. Well, does she still want to see more? <laughs> <laughs> she does not want to see more, Jane. I don't know. That's not how I hear it. We're going to have to fix this so that she can get in here a little easier. That's not how I hear it. Is that not how you hear it? Yeah, right. You, you can see him on, on the, the webcam. And he's staying out of view for the phone. So Because he can't get over there because you can't tilt the phone down because you was unprepared and disorganized. That's what that question was about, by the way. What, who's more organized? He's more organized. Hands down. I, I won't even argue that one. I would have had the camera focus. You know you put the camera over in the lights? Exactly what I, you're supposed to do with it? I know, but then if I put them over here in the light, then it changes the angle of it. Terribly. It's got that little arm thing. But we put any weight on this and it pulls that down. So. Well, Jane, I think you're the only one that's here right now. And because of that, um, I feel like giving, giving something away is kind of like. Well, maybe I can finally win. <laughs> I'm going to live here and never, ever actually win I think anything. if it's okay with you. Since you're toughing it out here, I'll go ahead and hold on to these until the time that I can go live when I can go live on YouTube. Is that okay with you? Or do you want or do you want this palette? It's up to you. Well, I mean it's some nice browns. Yeah, and look at look at the question down there. Somebody wants to see more. I don't know who. Who hogs the covers more, Jay? No, I don't have none. <laughs> I'm on the dirty underwear and broken glass. Uh, okay, where are we at up here? Party animal organized. As long as you get ready, that would be you. I just yeah, I, I, do, I do take longer to get ready. I don't even have to throw pants Fussiest eater. Yeah, that's yeah, me. Yeah. Best, cook. Best cook. Yeah. I'm a good cook. He just likes to cook more. No, he, he's amazing. He is a good cook. He one cup for a kitchen. Well, I don't know. We weren't on there. <laughs> Who's bothered more about their looks? Mm, I don't care. Yeah. Probably me, if, if, if they're asking me one of us. <laughs> I don't care. I go a week without shaving. I scratch my butt. And yeah. <laughs> Who is the laziest? I'm always. Yeah, but busy doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean that you're not lazy. I said, well, man, what are you doing? I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that one yeah. as I'm the, I'm the laziest. Oh, you're snoring. Well, we've got two. We, somebody else is here because there's two on here. First habit. I don't have any bad habits. Pretty much perfect. Food. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I never talk. And uh, who wastes the most money? Who wastes the most money? Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. I'll hold on to it. Well, I don't think either of us really wastes much in the way of money. Do you think? No, because everything I buy, I need. You know, a lot of stuff that I buy, I everything I buy, using. I need. So, um, worst habits? Mm -hmm. I have no one. I have none. Me? <laughs> Pretty much perfect. Most talkative? Him. <laughs> no, he's not. He's quiet. Most argumentative? That's no, him. 
he's not because <laughs> if even if you're right, he will try to beat you down to prove that you're wrong. <laughs> no, and that he's right. No, yeah. he's, he's always right. So that's kind of a good argument. He's not always right. No, not always. But see what I mean? He is the most argumentative. Argumentative. No. Who made the first move? He did. Yeah, I said, here my weed. And all of a sudden, there was a knock at the door. I didn't tell you where I lived yet. <laughs> Who hogs the covers? Yeah, that one. Me. <laughs> I have my pile Who is the earlier there. riser? Him. <laughs> Who stays up the latest? Me. <laughs> and, uh. Why is there two 27s? It, it, because who stays? Uh, that's, that's yeah. Um, who is more likely to start a fight? Not me. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, I don't have to engage in fisty cups on a regular basis. Uh, uh, who would last longer on a desert on island? He would. Well, yeah, you're too picky. Oh, that army training. <laughs> yeah, that you're too picky to eat the dead parrot. Yeah, I wouldn't eat the dead parrot either. <laughs> I, I, I would struggle. <laughs> I would struggle. Yeah, I'd be dead in a week. <laughs> Let's just say it. I'd be dead in a week. <laughs> well, I'd last a little while on my fat. It's like, wow, so, I'll be single, I'll be single <laughs> about two hours. There's no Dr. Pepper here. It's like, I'll be single in two hours. Who's more likely to be late? Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, probably me. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm all army for sure. Who swears more? Uh, that's probably me. <laughs> no, uh -uh. You think you cuss more than I do? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, maybe now that he's working down at the shop, <laughs> he might be when he's away from me. Um, who's the least affectionate? Me. <laughs> that, that damn cat that lives here. Most immature? No. <laughs> No. No. Oh, please. Whatever. <laughs> Who's the one to remove the spider? No. <laughs> the, spider, the spider gets squished. He gets squished yeah. in place. Yeah. He. Well, you you would be more likely to remove it than I would be. <laughs> yeah, but that spider becomes part of the carpet. Yeah, and and it, it, it's dead. If it's if it's in my house, it's dead. That, that, yeah. There's nothing else with even that. Those, <laughs> even those spiders are our friends. Yeah, says you. <laughs> it's like having two cats with a couple extra eyes, but they're fuzzy and have eight legs. That's two cats. Yes. All right, I'm going to move this up here. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I still have pants on, people. <laughs> he does. That's kind of surprising, yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's killing me. He's killing you. He's he's like the women come home, take off their bra. He likes to get out of his pants. <laughs> they just fall off sometimes. Well, yeah, sometimes I guess. Yeah, I know I put a belt on, but it doesn't help. <laughs> okay, we are going to go ahead and get off here. We will hold on to all of the drawing items for next time when I can get up and, and you get more live everywhere else. <laughs> I think I will probably make it a little bit later in the day, but maybe not too late. I'm afraid if I go too late at night for the U.S., then it's going to be, you know, work time for everybody else. What can I say? <laughs> Can't please everybody, right? So just do it when you want to do it, I I'm guess. Try. So, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. And I hope that you've enjoyed the question and answer, se answer session today, even though I just kind of breeze through it really, really quickly. Maybe you learned something about us that you didn't already know. <laughs> you can see my sexy guy over here. And how I, and how I sleep on the broken glass and dirty underwear. <laughs> he says he sleeps on broken glass and dirty underwear. Some, some people have said that he kind of looks like uh, John Travolta. He doesn't think he does, but I think he kind of does around the eyes. Yeah, just a little bit, but he doesn't like that. I don't know why. I thought John Travolta was a good looking guy. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> Especially now that he's shaving his head. Yeah, now he really looks like him. 
But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you learned something about me and Jay today and uh, enjoyed the make book so that I did forget, for you. Don't forget to join my fan club. <laughs> I do. There's that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Thank you again for spending time with me. Love you all so much. And uh, if you can't be good, be careful. If you can't make good life decisions, then bury my money because you probably need it at some point. Yeah, just like when that wonderful.